Welcome back to another video. This video was for some people who requested a quick wing bits install when you already have a Pi set up. Now this is going to be assuming that you have your Pi set up. You did an app update. You did a app upgrade. Ran both of them, and it's ready to go. You add a prompt, and you are running a fresh install. We're not converting any kind of miners or anything like that. You're running this on a device that's already set up as Pi. So you're gonna log into Wingbits. If you need help setting up a Wingbits for the first time, I will have a link on in this description on how to set up a Wingbits account for the first time. So you can, when you click on antennas, you gotta register antenna. You go ahead and set that all up and do whatever you gotta do on that. But you're gonna hit this little icon right here, which is gonna copy this whole thread. You're then going to right click where your little icon is and hit enter. It's then going to ask you for the device ID. I'll right click and paste that. I'll copy it from the wing bits, left click copy, right click paste that to make sure I don't get any of that wrong. Then it's going to let this run. And this will take a few minutes, but it's going to download the packages from wing bits and go ahead and set it up. I'm going to stop the video here so it doesn't be too long. Okay, it's going to be still doing this installing vector. Now it's installing read, S e read SB. Let's go ahead and let's let it keep going. All right, so we ran to the error. That's what happens when you record live like this. But I messed up. I didn't tell y'all. But make sure your SDR is plugged in before you do this install. So I'm going to press up one time. And I'm going to run this again. It's already got my name saved, and I'm going to let it run its whole thing again. All right, so we finished installation. We have Vector is active. There, the installation completed successfully. Read SB is active. And now we have to let Wingbits know where this is located at. You have to make sure this matches directly exactly what you put in for your Wingbits wallet or account or antenna. So it's sudo read sb dash set dash location, which I will have in the description for y'all. And I'm just gonna put a make believe GPS here. Just wanted to show y'all that if y'all have a negative in front of y'all's GPS, make sure you put that on there. And then you're gonna hit enter. Now that that's in, um, there's also a script you can run if you wanna be able to do graphs on it. Again, I'll get in put that in the description, but now you'll be able to run graphs. Um, it'll be your IP, instead of like slash tar 1090, it'll be graphs on 1090. Also, what I normally run on mine is auto gain 1090. It has to be running for a while, but it's auto gain 1090 and enter. And this will probably tell me it hasn't been running long enough, running long enough yet, but you can run that. And there's also a script that you can run to adjust gain also. Another thing I will tell y'all is that I have been running is the, I, I've been running cron tab E and I do that so that auto, and what I do this for is, because this will be a remote install, is I want this to restart every day, every other day. I have mine restarting every day. So I just have this all copied down somewhere. So I just got copy and paste it. And now this will reboot every day or every other day. Yeah, so another thing I've been running is tail scale because, again, with these being remote setups, it's hard to log into them. I don't have to worry about doing kind of routers or anything like that. So I'll go ahead and, and install tail scale on these also. So after I run that, I just press tail scale up, type tail scale up, and then that shows me how to add it to my tail scale account. So now, when I go to the local address up here, device backslash tar 1090, it should have me where I'm supposed to be. And here it is, and that's all I should need. Now, after some time, you should be able to go to wingbits.com. 
It only takes 15, 20 minutes at the most um, to show online. You can always right click and run system CTL status read SB vector. And that will tell you if they're both running. Mine are both running, so that's good. Also, if you need to check your name to make sure that the name is correct, when you do this and right click, um, I'm sorry. Also, if you ever want to check your name to make sure that's the that's it's cat with a space backslash etc backslash wingbits backslash device, and it will tell you your name and make sure you have the dashes. Make sure there's you know there's, there's no issues with the name or anything like that. If you want to ever confirm that name. All right, so I hope everybody got some out that video. I hope it wasn't too quick, but that's what y'all asked for—a quick video on how to edit. If y'all can. Please like and subscribe this um, like this video. Hit the thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. It's the Grumpy Dad on YouTube. Um, I have other videos on here. Don't forget to also have X, Twitter, whatever you want to call it this week. Um, feel free. It's Grumpy Dad 56. And also don't forget at night we play some Call of Duty. If you ever want to watch an old man, sometimes I do pretty good. Took first place um, last couple of nights, and I even dropped the 100 kill that I have a video on here also. Uh, in my youtube so feel free to subscribe to all that and if y'all need anything else feel free to ask drop a comment and i appreciate everybody and this will probably be my last video possibly before new year's we leave um today is thursday we leave tomorrow for a hunting trip i'll try to do some recording on that but other than that y'all have a good new year's and i'll uh, see y'all next year